Heterogeneity test is one of the statistical method and statistical test that is performed as a part of the meta-analysis and the meta-analysis will combine data from several uh, independent studies and the objective of this heterogeneity test is to examine and assess the variability between those studies so what is heterogeneity heterogeneity is the degree of variability or inconsistency in the results of a multiple studies that will be combined to perform meta-analysis and then determine the pooled uh, overall effect size. So pooled studies in meta-analysis from different sources published uh, online, those studies when they were designed, they can differ in the population, the mean age of uh, um, participant or recruited to the uh, research study, the ethnicity of the individuals, whether it is a clinical trials, is it in phase one, phase two, phase three, and the treatment is applied, the dosage of that treatment or intervention, the duration of the exposure. So those uh, differences on the uh, setting of each study might have an, an impact on the meta-analysis and that's why heterogeneity is a test performed to find out the level of variability or inconsistency. So these different several factors can lead to heterogeneity in the effect size estimated, whether it is the mean or whether it is the correlation coefficient, whether it is a proportion or whether it is an odds ratio or risk ratio or hazard ratio. All these pooled or uh, overall estimate of the effect size can be uh, influenced by those heterogeneity. So, the test was developed, which is called heterogeneity test, to determine whether when we combine these studies, they are similar to each other that can be pooled and with less heterogeneity. So this is like a marker that tests whether those several studies can be combined and an overall estimate of the effect size can be generated and a conclusion can be drawn or there is a high variability and some of the uh, results from certain publication has to be uh, excluded. So there are two tests to perform heterogeneity test. The first one is Cochrane test, which is based on the Q uh, statistics, which is based on the chi-square and an I-square um, value is generated with a p-value. And the second test is the tau-squared test. So for the first test, as I said, it is based on the chi-square test and the formula for calculating the i-square value which is an indicator for the level or the quantity of heterogeneity is given in this equation i squared is equal to q stats minus degree of freedom divided by the q stats multiplied by 100 percent so Q is the chi-square statistics calculated and DF is the degree of freedom. So what is uh, I squared? I squared is a measure for heterogeneity or homogeneity. So it measures the degree of uh, uh, heterogeneity in the meta-analysis. So it's like a marker or an indicator uh, how uh, heterogeneous 
uh, or homogeneous the data pooled from several independent uh, research studies. It is expressed in a percentage. So the I squared is expressed in a percentage from zero to a hundred percentage. So it represents the proportion or the percentage of the total variation in the effect sizes across those several uh, studies that addresses exact specific scientific research or clinical questions and uh, that proportion of total variation um, in the effect study across across study is due to heterogeneity rather than chance and the i squared and q statistic can provide the magnitude of this heterogeneity as the values for the i squared if it is zero percent that indicates no heterogeneity 25 percent uh, suggest low heterogeneity 50% moderate heterogeneity and greater than 70% high heterogeneity and 100% indicates maximum heterogeneity. So high value of heterogeneity indicates that the results of individual studies may be too different to combine. So it's not a good idea to combine them if the heterogeneity indicator is high. So how to uh, overcome this? Then if there is a substantial high heterogeneity, then uh, another sources of heterogeneity has to be explored by taking the study and sectioning them or subgrouping them into certain groups based on let's say on the gender on the ethnicity and then perform a subgroup meta-analysis for each group or perform a meta-regression or a sensitivity analysis the next test is the tau squared test so it is a statistics test used in meta-analysis to estimate and quantify the extent of heterogeneity i.e variability among the effect size or sizes across those several independent study and this uh, uh, heterogeneity is not due to chance there is a genuine heterogeneity between the effect size for for those studies so the uh, test will perform quantification of the heterogeneity present among those effect size and this is estimated by the between study variance so the tau or tau squared value can range from zero to infinity larger value of uh, tau squared indicates greater heterogeneity among the effect sizes from several uh, in research studies a value of zero or close to zero suggests similar effect size across the studies so it is low heterogeneity probably there is homogeneity between the studies so an indicator for the whether there is heterogeneity is not is based on the value of uh, uh, tau squared and the p value if the p value is less than 0.05 that is an indicator that there is a heterogeneity among effect size so the uh, hypothesis for performing the heterogeneity test states as the following the null hypothesis states there is no heterogeneity among studies effect size i.e the effect size from those several uh, research studies are homogeneous or similar the alternative hypothesis indicate yes there is heterogeneity between the studies uh, effect size so if the p-value is less than 0.05 
then there is uh, uh, heterogeneity between the uh, uh, studies results if the p value is greater than 0.05 then that uh, might indicate uh, there is uh, less heterogeneity and the data are more homogeneous but uh, the, that need to be also uh, backed up by the I squared value or tau squared value. Here I had generated a forest plot from SPSS. This uh, slide shows a forest plot uh, generated for uh, data from several uh, studies uh, and the estimate effect size was the hedges G and the uh, small uh, section which is the third part of the graph here enlarged is uh, the um, where the uh, test of homogeneity and the values for I squared and tau squared is given with the p-value as shown the model here is used random effects model and heterogeneity test was performed and the tau squared value is generated uh, with uh, 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 h squared and i squared uh, value also generated which is equal here to uh, a 23 percentage and uh, uh, the homogeneity test was performed based on the q statistics and the degree of freedom uh, is given here with a p value of greater than 0.05 so from this we can make with confidence a conclusion that there is low level of heterogeneity among those uh, uh, results extracted from several independent uh, research studies